and I'll show you. This is the, the night vision, and you can tell, this is how they come in. The, the lead is a coyote, and the, the behind is a coyote. See? Um. And then they'll get, they'll, after they get finally up into where their layup area will be, and I'll show you some film in a second of what a layup area looks like. You can tell. Now when they hit this road, you'll see a shot in a minute where they hit a road, and they actually use military tactics to cross the road. You'll see them stop. Here's the road. And you'll see them stop, and just like our military does, at the road, and one person goes across and looks all around to make sure that nobody's on the road, the Border Patrol can't see them, and then they start going over one by one at the road, just like our military trains. Hmm. This whole, all of these border crossings. Okay, well let me say, this is what we're doing here. I have with me Connie, who is with the Minutemen organization. The Minutemen organization, as you know, is a volunteer group that controls the or patrols the border. They'd like to control it. Um, apparently no one does, but um, Connie is from Arizona, lives on the border, and she's now in Washington trying to nudge us, and she has some film that I think is shocking. I think everybody in Congress should read, should see this, but I think also members of the public need to see it, and that's why we're showing it. This film was actually shot on the Arizona border, but Connie, what, now tell, tell folks, what is your full name? Connie here. And you, your title with the Minutemen? I'm a national spokesperson. I do the meeting. Okay. And you're in Washington, but you're from Arizona? No, I'm from here, or from Louisiana, actually. But I'm, I live here now. But you, you are one of the people, one of the who, people filmed who filmed this. Who goes to the border? Okay. So Chris Simcox filmed a lot of this. A lot of Minutemen. We all, we have video cameras with every group that goes out, just in case there is an incident. We have people stumble into our our headquarters all the time or into our outpost literally dying of thirst. We film everything to make sure that nobody accuses the Minutemen of violating anyone's civil rights. We give people water. We've saved over 200 lives. Um, but that said, these are different uh, people who have filmed this because we have video cameras like literally everywhere. We're, we're stationed along the borders to keep track of. How big is Minutemen? How many people? We have over 7,000 that are registered and, and cleared to go to the border. We require background checks. We don't want any racist. If you're a racist, you're not welcome. We don't want any violent felons, okay? That said, that's how many we have. When you look at the Border Patrol, is only 10,500. By next year, we'll outnumber the Border Patrol. Now, as far as our organization is concerned, we have about 176,000 as far as people who are signed up, volunteers, not at the border, and donors. Um, I, I think we, uh, we have some potential volunteers from Georgia. I recently received a number of bricks from constituents. Oh, yeah. And I, 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 I wanted to say they're willing to go down there and lay the, the concrete and the, the mortar. So, oh, um, you are getting the bricks then. Yeah. I've, I've seen that effort on the web. It, it, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, what we're also seeing here, though, is we're seeing people who cross the who are crossing the border, and we also see um, places where they camp, and at night the debris that they leave because they shed all their clothes and backpacks that could trace them back to Mexico, and they take only the the uh, minimal amount of uh, things with them, but.